So, who loves a good highlight? Raise your hand. I wish I had more hands because I love highlight that much. Everybody. Today I'm going to be doing a review on four of Max's Extra Dimension Skin Finish. Now, I did get these a while ago and I'm just now getting to film this review. But I'm super, super excited because I love, love, love Max Extra Dimension Skin Finishes. These are the more oddball shades and what do I mean by that? I mean that recently different colored highlights have come into like Vogue. And then by the way, I'm gonna be doing a video on like where did this trend come from and what brands offer. So if you're wondering like how do different colored highlights stack up against each other, I'm gonna be having a video. So I got four shades to show you guys. I'm gonna open them up so you can see exactly how wildly they vary against each other. So these are all four. And at a glance, you can definitely see there is quite a difference in shades here and I think the one that might stand out to most of you guys is this one here and the reason I say that is because this is the blue purple shift now I'm gonna turn off some of my lights so that you can help see more of the shift so now I only have one light on and I know it's a little bit weird to see it with only one light on but the reason for this is because it's gonna help you see exactly the shift in the colors so this first one here as you can see shifts a purple blue and this one is Soft Frost. It's like a white base with a soft blue purple shift. Then we have a more traditional shade, and this is called Show Glow Gold. But this is a pinkened reddish reflection on a gold base. This next shade is Double Gleam, and this is one of the most, I would say, normal, in that this one is just a golden base with a golden reflection. This one didn't stand out too terribly. And last but not least, we have Beaming Blush. And as you can see, this too has a little bit of a pinky reflection. Oh, feels good to be in the light again. It takes a lot to get these videos bright. So many lights. And these are the lights. These are my professional lights in addition to my top light. Anyway, I just want to show you these products in the pan. And now I have some swatches for you so you can see exactly how they swatch up. see some of these shades are quite different than your normal shades and what I say what I mean by that is that these have shifts that we're not typically used to seeing if you're wondering how do I use a yellow base pink base or even blue base highlighter I want you to think of these highlighters in two different ways one I want you to think of them in the same way that you think of color correctors when you're applying green purple orange all these colors sound absurd to put all your all over your face but the reason we do it is because it helps fix different problems on our face because if you look at a color wheel different colors work well with others so when you're applying blue to your face when you're applying a blue highlighter to your face especially in a sheer way it's going to help brighten up your face so if you're having a little bit of a dull skin day and you need just a pick me up make your skin look brighter fresher you're gonna want to go for a highlight like soft frost if you're having a day where you're like oh I look so tired I have such dark circles you're gonna want to go for double gleam because double gleam has a little bit of a yellow base and when you apply this the yellow base is gonna contrast with whatever purple is going on under your eye because believe it or not dark circles are usually caused by capillaries which are either blue or purple in tone so you put on the yellow and you're gonna look more awake more refreshed 
Then you have the warmer shades like Show Gold, which is a little bit pinker. And then you have Beaming Blush, which is also kind of like orangey. And these are going to work well also with dark circles. Um, they're gonna help you look a little bit more blush and highlighted at the same time. And they're definitely gonna help to make your skin look dewy and soft. This is if you're applying them in a sheer way. So that's what these are used for in that way. But if you're using them like a thick highlight, like you see how I have a very thick highlight in the light? If you like having that super Instagram glow, that super metallic glow, and you're using these like this, you're gonna get that full color, okay? So if you wanna use it like that, and you're using it moist, which is pretty much how you amp these up, just spray a little bit of Fix Plus or Evian's facial spray on your brush, and you will amp these up very easily. When you do that, you have to remember that it may contrast with other things you're doing. So my best advice to you is if you're like, well, how do I use a blue highlighter? How do I make that look normal? Well, keep your whole look cool toned because blue is cool toned, purple is cool toned. So do maybe a gray uh, or black and white or a gray toned, maybe a black and white smoky, maybe a black and smoky eye. Maybe do a little bit of blue, purple, green, something jewel toned on your eye. And then you can keep your lip either nude or you can go full bold and pick up something like Young Attitude, the, the retro matte lip, li liquid lipstick. I actually did a look combining that. If you wanna see this in action for my look, I will leave a link below to that tutorial. But you could do something like that and it will help look like a monotone look and it'll pull the look together. Same goes with the other shades, although the other shades, although I feel like shades like Show Gold, Beaming Blush, and Double Gleam are going to be much easier to pull into your routine. Though I would say with Show Gold um, and maybe even a little bit of Beaming Blush, you'll want to stick to warmer tones. So warmer tones for these two, if you're doing for that mono look, if you're building these up, and cool tone for soft frost. As for double gleam, you can kind of go in any direction you want and no matter how thick you put this on, it's gonna go with anything. Before I wrap up this video, I will say that these products did not accentuate pores. They did not migrate. They stayed put on my face. You can use a setting spray to make sure they don't move, but even on their own, they don't really migrate all over the face. They didn't accentuate fine lines. And I liked that these can be used both on the cheeks or over dark eyeshadows. Now I'm gonna show you an example. I'm gonna use my Maybelline 24K nudes. And I'm gonna show you, you see this dark color right here? I'm just put some on my finger. So I'm gonna swatch it up right here. As you can see, it's super pigmented right there. So I want you to imagine this is your eye, okay? And you're using a product like Soft Frost. You take your brush and you swipe it across. You get a nice amount of product on there and you're gonna put it over your dark shadow. So that's with the brush, and as you can see, it's subtle with the brush. And if you use your finger, it's even more pronounced. So you get a nice metallic shift look. It's almost like a galaxy shift right there on your dark shadows. Now you can use this over browns. You can use these over browns, blues, blacks, doesn't matter. Just take a matte dark shade and apply this right over and you will get the color shift of whatever it is. So you can see Soft Frost has a purpley blue shift. And this is over black, a matte black. You gotta love a product with options. And of course, you can apply this wet or sheer on the eyes to have an eye brightening effect any one of these shades. One other thing I do wanna mention is that the Extra Dimension Skin Finish Formula is a little bit moist to the touch. It is not like a typical powdery highlight. You're gonna have a little bit of moisture in it. So be sure to, when you use your brush, use a soft hand. You're gonna to wanna to use a fluffier brush. That's why we use fluffy brushes for highlights. So fluffy, fluffy, kinda of like a blender brush. You'll have good luck with that. So guys, have you tried any of MAC's new Extra Dimension Skin Finishes in the fun colors? If you have, let me know in the comment section below. I would love to hear what you guys think. If you haven't tried this, why not? Is it because you have a similar product like Anastasia Beverly Hills Moon Palette or is it just you didn't think you could do as much as you could do with it? Let me know why. Give me some reasons. I love hearing your opinions and your perspectives. And if you liked this video, please be sure to subscribe and hit the little bell so you can be notified when I post up some new videos. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching and please be sure to follow me on Instagram. I'm Recycled Stardust.